My tip would be to have those things before you even get your dog fit. At this point, I'm just gonna do it because I feel like that's just what's best for me to do right now. idea what's happening. That's what's so sad. <sighs> okay, she's in there. I'm so sad to watch her walk away. Oh my gosh, I'm... <sighs> it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> all right. All right, welcome to the vlog. And this vlog is going to be our experience with Nala getting fixed. So she's a girl, so she's getting spayed. And just over the next week or so, I'm just going to vlog our experience and hopefully just Give some insight if you have a little fur baby that needs to get fixed as well and you you know need help prepping for it during it the recovery all that kind of stuff so hopefully me sharing what we are doing and what we are going through that can help you Alrighty, so Nala is almost a year. So she is a little bit over 11 months 11 and a half months and she is a golden retriever and we had her surgery scheduled for December, but she actually went into heat, her first heat cycle in last October. So they like to wait at least two months before having surgery after their first heat or after a heat cycle because everything is still like swollen and vascular and it's just not safe to do that. So we had to wait. So we just pushed it to January, 2021. So here we are. They do say that it is healthy to at least have one heat cycle. It allows their hormones to develop. Even if they don't go through a heat cycle, they do say at least for retrievers that it's better to wait until they're older and not spay them right when they're puppies because their hormones need to develop and that just helps prevent cancers and illness and stuff as they're older. So. That's why we originally planned to wait till she was at least like 10 months anyway. So it all worked out and um, she got to go through a heat cycle. So that was, that was nice, I guess, but I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> so anyway, so let's talk about the prep really quick. So they said that she's not allowed to have food past midnight. And this is all stuff your vet I'm sure will tell you, but again, just gonna, just gonna tell you what we're doing over here. Um, so she ate at 10 15 last night. She was allowed to have water even last night through this morning, day of surgery. They said that was totally cool. A friend of mine gave me the like donut, actually looks like an airplane pillow kind of thing for dogs. So she gave me that to use instead of the cone, but Nala's very flexible. She's a very just limber little pup. So I think that she will be able to reach it even with that cone on. vet said to just bring it so that's what I did this morning and they said they would test it out but they don't think it's gonna work 
I know they want me to use the plastic cone, which I know they have good reason for because it's longer and whatever they're using, they want it to go past their nose and, um, and it's plastic, not cloth. So it's just going to help block better. And then along with that, I, so I went over on Instagram and I asked you guys just to help me with any advice with this kind of stuff. And you guys said to get the onesie. So it's a recovery onesie, which I didn't even know that was a thing. So I went ahead and I ordered her one yesterday. So it should be here by Saturday. So if she has to use the cone for the first few days, I think that's fine. And then maybe we can transition into the onesie moving forward while she heals just so she can't get to it. But I don't know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, that is where we are right now. Um, dropped her off at 8.30 this morning and it's gonna be a whole day thing. I literally don't know what to do with myself. Like I have work to get done, but I, I walked in the door and looked down at her bowls and like literally almost cried my eyes out. Like I'm on the verge. I'm on the verge. And they did say that she would need picked up around a five or six. And my concern is, so I have an SUV and getting her out, in and out, is just already stressing me out. And I asked them about it and they're like, oh, she should be able to walk into the house. She might be kind of out of it. And she's not allowed to jump out of the car. So we have to get her out. And I just want to be so careful. So I'm like just stressing about that. So I'm probably just going to like, I don't know, put the back seat like full of blankets and stuff so that when she is in the car and we're driving, she's not moving around or trying to like, stop herself from sliding you know what i mean but i think she's gonna be so out of it anyway so once i get some work stuff done and the rest of my day is clear and i'm just waiting to go pick her up it's gonna feel like so long but i think i'm gonna go to the store and just get her toys and things that she can play with because she is not allowed to run to jump to go on a walk or anything for 10 to 14 days so i need to definitely get some things that that's just gonna keep her keep her busy anyway okay I will check back in when baby girl is on her way home. All right. Okay, so I just called and checked on her. It is like 3.30 right now. Yeah, it's like 3.30 and she's gonna be done at 5.30. So she's been there literally all day long, but I'd rather her be there and being taken care of and watched, you know, rather than coming home right after a surgery. So um, I'm grateful for that. They said that she's doing really, really good and she's starting to wake up now and she does have her cone because they said that the donut thing, pillow thing that I brought this morning, which you guys saw her in at the beginning of this. Uh, yeah, they're like, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. She's too long. And it's funny because they keep calling her Linguini. <laughs> because she's so like long and like agile so uh anyway they said we're gonna have to do the cone at least for now so bummer but she's being the big cone whatever is gonna keep her nice and safe also a little tip i asked them to go ahead and do her nails they called it a little pedicure which is so cute while she was under because why not just knock that out and then also they're going to clean her ears really well yeah i thought that was kind of nice to kind of knock those things out while she's not really knowing what's going on. Um, they're gonna send home some pain medicine. She got a shot today that's gonna be good for the rest of the day so she doesn't have any pain. And then they also asked if we wanted to come home with some antibiotics and some sedative type medicine. And for now, I said no to both because she's already had to be on antibiotics because of a UTI and then when she was really really little when we first got her she was very very sick so if you've seen the first 24 hours with our new puppy video you know that she got very sick I decided to say no reason that they wanted to give us the antibiotic is if she does get the cone off and she licks it it's introducing new bacteria to you know the incisions and that's not good but I'm gonna be home with her literally 24 7 for at least the next like three or four days so I think she should be good to go with that um, I can always call back and get them if I feel like it's necessary and then as far as the sedative type medicine you know I really only want her to be on stuff that she really has to be on I have soul CBD's pet CBD oil which I've been planning to use this whole time because it really does help calm dogs down it really eases their nervous system and then also really helps with um, pain and with inflammation so the CBD is completely natural and it works and I rather her use that than a medication that they're gonna give me so um, I'll link all that below and I've been using CBD soul CBD specifically for myself for like two years now and it's really worked wonders she's a very chill dog anyway like her temperament is like super chill especially for a puppy but she is gonna want to play and we have to try not to let her do that so hopefully the CBD will be enough to like calm her down so that she's just kind of you know doesn't knock him out put him to sleep but it does help just like 
chill them out and the lady said that's exactly what the other thing did it's not necessarily like completely a sedative it's not going to knock her out and put her to sleep but it just makes her kind of like chill and if the cbd is going to do that then i just rather do that because it's natural i'm going to show you really quick some things that i just got her because i went to PetSmart and got her some toys i'm going to give her like a new one throughout the next like few days so she has something to look forward to and so she's not too bored and yeah so let me show you what i got her so i got her this really cute little whale which she's just gonna rip this completely apart but i don't care it's something for her to do it has a little toy inside and then got her this i don't even know it's like a little mermaid type thing but it also has a toy inside and i know she's gonna rip this up so Apparently they know what they're doing with these things. Then I got her some more bones. It's made with real wood and real hemp. So it's all natural and it helps calm them and gives them something to do when she's bored. So, and then I've had this, but I wanted to show you this. So it's kind of like a brain game for dogs, which stimulates them while they are searching with their sight. And then also when they use their smell, it exhausts them and it makes them just like exercise their mind you know um are you gonna be able to meet me there at 5 30. i don't know maybe uh, i don't want to do it by myself if i can i will okay my little noodle i know my little noodle i'm gonna call her noodle noodle oh i miss noodle i love you i love you too it's okay baby lay down sweetie lay down honey not a fan of this cone i feel like it's digging into her skin like how uncomfortable and there's i can't like loosen that up oh, honey i'm so sorry i'm so sorry honey oh my god it's so sad She's asking to go out. That's the third try. Okay, good girl. Good girl, honey. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of you. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. It's okay. Yes, honey, come on. Good girl. Good girl, honey. Do you need to go potty? Honey. Honey, I know. All right, so we moved the guest room mattress out here. And, uh, this is gonna be where I sleep. Um, I think Clark's just gonna sleep in our bed because more space and everything. So she keeps begging to go to our bedroom to lay down on the bed, but we can't let her because she can't jump up on the bed. That's why we moved this out here so she could literally step up, but she, wants to go in our bedroom so bad because it's like her her safe place I guess but we need her to stay out here so oh here she is good girl yes honey good girl mm, sweetie
All right, good morning. It is the next day. We made it through the night and she is just, she's awake, but she's just hanging out. Um, she's tired, so. Last night she was pretty restless for a while and I kept thinking that she needed to go to the bathroom. So we went out there and she tried to go, like she sat down and she might have gone. I'm not really sure, honestly, um, cause she did that a couple times. And then it looked like she was trying to poop, but like couldn't squat to do it. And it was, that was actually really sad. And she still hasn't pooped since. So, and then when we came back in, she was still very restless and ended up throwing up and that was the second time that she had thrown up and it was just a lot of liquid with just a little bit of chunks of like treats and stuff that i was trying to give her because she still has not eaten like a full meal by any means or at all the throw up actually stained our rug it like bleached it so that's fun so i ended up putting towels down all over like most of the rug over here let me show you you can see over there i just start setting towels down because i don't know what's about to happen here um but it's okay we'll work through it she is such a cuddler like she needs to like be on me and with her being you know like this she's like extra cuddly so she was i mean all night it was like her sprawled out like on top of my chest or like having to be on my face or like wrapped around my legs like it's so precious but she's doing okay um and this morning, she did not go to the bathroom again. She did go out there. She was definitely more like alert this morning. Now she is very tired because I gave her her medicine. So it's weird because they told me she had pain medicine for the next three days, but on the thing it says half of a pill twice a day every 12 hours for the next 10 days. So I don't really know what that's all about. I'm debating what to do about this cone. Like I can tell it's so uncomfortable and like, it just seems like it's like poking into her neck. The donut did not work. They said that she's too long and flexible and that she was able to reach her incision. I did order that recovery onesie for dogs. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try that tomorrow. It's supposed to come in. I ordered it on Amazon. I'll link that below. I might be returning these things. I don't know. If it comes tomorrow, I'm going to take the cone off and put that suit on her. And then if I need to, maybe put that other one on and I'm still gonna be watching her because you know, you don't want them to lick it. So anyway, we're just gonna rest a lot today and I'll update you guys, you know, as the day goes on. Right now she's chewing on the donut pillow thing that she was supposed to be wearing. She thinks that it's a toy, but so I'm like, okay, well, let me go ahead and give her one of the toys that I got her. So that's what I'm gonna go do. It's not a baby, honey. It's not a baby. <laughs> and this is what we had to do with the couch so that she wouldn't go on there. <laughs> Nala. Look what mommy has. Look what mommy has. It's a new baby for you. Yes, honey. This video is just gonna be like my annoying voice this entire time. That's a new baby for you. We're gonna keep this over here. And that's for you, honey. trying to chew her bone and she can't. <laughs> Face.
All right, so it is day three and she's doing really well. She isn't acting like she's in pain because she wants to play a lot. Um, so the first couple days I, see she's crying. Baby girl, I know sweetie, I know, I know. So the first couple of days I did not have her on a leash outside because she was just like so out of it and she just stays like right with me. But now I've noticed she wants to play and I'm afraid that she is gonna run. So now we have her on the leash every single time that we go out in the backyard. Second thing is to put coconut oil in their food. Baby girl, I know, honey. To put coconut oil in their food, so I just heated it up to melt it down a little bit and poured it in her food just to make sure that she's getting food with her medicine. And also to make sure that she goes to the bathroom, that coconut oil is really gonna help. Um, she has pooped now twice, so it's really healthy for them because it's a really healthy um, fat for them. Also helps with their coat, but then it also <laughs> helps to kind of just slide that poop on out of there. It is what it is. Yep, I said it. And it actually really worked and she didn't seem like she was struggling when she pooped, so yay. Then her whimpering was the other thing I was gonna say. She is not like a very vocal dog. Like she really doesn't bark at all. And unless she has to poop, she'll like talk to me, you know what I mean? But she has been whimpering non-stop today. And I don't think it's from pain because she's acting fine physically, um, but she just wants to be outside 24/7. But like, I have to be with her. I can't. I can't be out there literally all day long. So that has just been kind of a struggle. I just I'm, I keep tending to her, but I don't know what she is crying about. So I'm just giving her lots of love and making sure she has food and water, and that she does go to the bathroom and she has her medicine. And I've been giving her the CBD in between her doses of her medicine so she has it every 12 hours so morning and then at night so about midday is when I've been giving her basically a full tincture of the CBD oil and yeah it, I think that it's helping her incision is a little bit red right now so that was concerning to me but I sent a picture to my friend who's a nurse and uh, her dog got fixed a few months ago and she said that it looked fine it's just red from the inflammation but other than that like she should be okay so that um, CBD should really help with that but I'll keep an eye on it. The last thing that I was gonna say is her onesie is supposed to be coming in today. Bless the Lord above because I, I this cone, it, it's, it's too much. Especially because it's plastic. I did order her a second one that's like more of the cloth Velcro one. So my tip would be to have those things before you even get your dog fixed. Um, I know the plastic one is like really beneficial and helps them not get to their wounds. So I'm aware, but it's so sad. It's so sad. So I'm hoping that we can take it off today once her onesie arrives, but I'll show you guys that when it comes. Um, yeah, so that's all the things. You're doing so good, honey. So I had her in both of these things while I was in a meeting so that, you know, she didn't reach around and like get through the onesie. So I put both of them on her. Um, but now that I'm able to watch her, I'm gonna take the cone off and keep the onesie on. And we are at day five right now. She's doing great. She's doing great. All right, it's day five. She just had the zoomies and ripped apart all of her toys. <laughs> because she is so bored and she literally was running around having the zoomies and I was chasing her trying to make her stop because she's not supposed to be running around and she was she was running from her bed all the way to that bed jumping on her chair so I hope that she's okay
All right, we are on the way to the vet because Nala started to have some stuff come out of her. Not the incision, but her little privates. When she was peeing, I noticed there's like a brown colored discharge, kind of like what happened right before she went into heat. I called the vet and they said that that is not normal to bring her in, so that's where we're headed. Um, she, so now is one full week, so it's Thursday, so she got fixed last Thursday. Um, so just really hoping that everything is fine because when I looked it up after the fact, when she told me that that was not normal, the internet says that it is normal. So I think that she's okay, but just to be safe, taking her there and just kind of seeing what's going on. And I also read that sometimes they can still have another heat cycle, like right after they got fixed. So I'm praying that that is not the case because I don't want to go through that. So we're heading to the vet now and I will update you guys as soon as we figure out what is going on. All right, going to go pick her up. The vet said that she has to be on antibiotics and they didn't really give me an answer as to what it is because they said that her incision is healing up really well. I really don't have answers other than they're gonna put her on, on a um, antibiotic, which this will be the third round that she's been on since she's been alive and she's one, almost one. And that just like frustrates me. I wish there was another answer, but it's like you wanna do the best thing for them, you know? So I'm like, if that's what I'll do, but I just really hate that that's always the go-to, like antibiotic, antibiotic. It's like, that's not good long-term and gut health and all the things. Oh, so that's kind of frustrating, but at this point, I'm just gonna do it because I feel like that's just what's best for me to do right now. Ugh. It is two weeks later. Finally, we've arrived. I didn't want to film every single day because I didn't want to make this vlog like 1800 minutes long. So I'll kind of back up a little bit off of the last few days where we left off. She started to have that discharge coming out and she had it for about a week. So it was from like a Tuesday to a Tuesday and the last several days she's been completely fine and it's gone away. So I don't know if it was her about to go in heat when she had the surgery or if it was from the surgery itself, we don't know. Thankfully it stopped and she's fine. So when I was home with her, I did not have a cone on her. She just had the recovery onesie on and we did that for almost most of the time. The first week she had the cone on a lot, but then after that, this whole last week, I'm just like, you know what? I'm here with her, I'm able to watch her. So the onesie was what we did. Um, at night, I put the cone on her and took the onesie off just so that she wasn't hot because obviously at night I can't watch her. So the cone was just the way to go. Um, and then if I left, I kept the cone and the onesie on in case somehow she got the cone off. I felt better knowing that she still had the onesie on. The last probably three or so nights, she has been sleeping just in her onesie without the cone because she hasn't even noticed her incision and um, it's looking really, really good. It's healing really well. So I just felt like her not having the cone on at night was fine to me. She did well. She sleeps like a rock. So I guess it just depends on your dog. Last couple of days, I've been letting her go into the backyard off leash and kind of run around. I'm not throwing a ball or anything, but I'm letting her kind of just prance around and play. And she definitely got the zoomies a few times. and was like, just like, spinning in circles, like running around the yard. So I had to stop her a couple times because I'm like, it might be okay. Cause it was still after day 10 and they say 10 to 14 days, but I just wasn't too sure. I just would feel really bad if something like went wrong. But um, I kind of slowly let her, you know, get her cardio back in. And then this morning I actually threw the ball, not far, but just like a little bit to let her run around because it is day 14, technically day 15. Okay, so for instance, surgery day I included as day one and then the day after surgery was day two which I don't know 
Clark was like, why are you counting it like that? The day after surgery is technically day one. I'm like, no, it's day two, because it happened on day one. So if you're confused about my days, that's how I've been doing it. But yeah, okay, she's in the vet right now, and hopefully we get a good um, little checkup, and I'll let you guys know what that is, and then we will wrap this vlog up. Okay, we are back from the vet. We're home, and Nala is officially in the clear. Her incision is completely sealed up, so she said even if she licks it, that she's not worried about it because everything is closed up. And now we are going to go celebrate by playing ball. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and let me know if you have any other questions. If I missed anything, I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. And make sure you like this video, share it with someone that you know has a dog that's about to get fixed, just so they can kind of see, you know, the journey and see kind of what goes on with it. Make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss my next video. And we will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.